today, obviously, you know, FSU week uh, sometimes can seem a little bit bigger. Did you see a little more urgency? Of course, you know, this, this week is always you know, an exciting one. So everybody's even more locked in than they usually are. You know, the energy's there. We're just, you know, putting in our time for the, the preparations that we have to make to, to make this weekend the one that we wanted to be. What was it like practicing in the bubble? Uh, well, it's not our first time practicing in the bubble, but it was definitely a, a scenery change. But no matter where we practice, we have to make sure that we get the work done. So that's what our folks have seen. Jack, you guys had a chance to watch the Wake Forest game. Did you all watch it together as a defense, on your own? How did that kind of work Saturday? No, a lot of people watched it on their own, but we made sure that we watched the game. You know, anytime that we have an opportunity to watch our opponent that we're about to play, you always have to take the opportunity. What, so what goes thoughts? through your mind when you watch, you know, I think they had, it was either 16 or 18 tackles for loss. What goes through a, a defense's mind when you see that, that that's a possibility? Well, I mean, I just see that, you know, it's good for us at the same time, you know, every Saturday is different. You know, you can't really judge a team from a past Saturday or two Saturdays before because it's any given Saturday. Any team could be seeming like they're going to win it all, you know, at the end of the season. And, you know, the next Saturday that team loses to, you know, who knows. So we just make sure we play to our standard and that we never let it fall no matter what we see on the TV. Hey Shaq, a lot of people seem to think you guys are going to win the game, but what does your mentality as a player have to be going into a game like this with all the hype and all the other stuff on the outside? How do you sort of factor that out if you can. I just keep the chip on my shoulder. You know, I haven't arrived. You know, our team hasn't arrived. So we keep that on our on our plate and we cringe every every weekend and week out at any team that we play. And it's no different this week. When will you know the team has arrived? Will beating FSU do that, do you think? Or we have to do more than no, that? No, when we make it to Charlotte, that'll be our, uh, that's when we will say that we arrived after we win the game. Then after then, we start again next season. But until then, we're just, we got the chip on our shoulder. Any thoughts on their uh, black man or quarterback? Uh, I mean, we know that he's a young guy. You know, he had to step into the limelight, but other than that, we're just going to get after him. We're going to get after, you know, every team the way that we usually do. And how is this rivalry different as far as, you know, someone could say you guys are favored or, you know, it looks like UM is up and FSU is not up this year? How does it change when it's UM FSU? I see no difference. I see, I see it as, you know, it's the U versus Florida State, and it's my duty, you know, our duty as a team to win. That's the only way I see it. How much do you guys think, too, about winning this one maybe for the seniors? They, you know, so much has been made of that streak of seven straight losses. There's a bunch of guys that have come through here that might, might never beat Florida State. Do you guys think about that at all and, and giving them that win? Well, of course, you know, that's our plan. I mean, we want to win the game first and foremost, mm -hmm. but, of course, sending our seniors out with a win over Florida State would be amazing. But, you know, that's just, that's just onto the list of things that we want to do with the win. You know, we have to focus on winning first and, for, uh, first and foremost. The atmosphere Last there, question. I mean, I know, I know Duke was an away game, but this is another level. Well, I only, I've never played there. You know, I only hear stories about how, you know, exciting it could be at FSU. But I love away games, so I thrive. And then I think that our defense thrives in it. I think that our team thrives in it. So. Why do you love them? It's, it's something about being the underdogs. You know, you walk in and everybody's booing you, everybody's saying all types of things to you, and then you make a play, you know, your teammate makes a tackle for loss or a sack, and, you know, everybody goes quiet. And then at that point, you know, you could just assume that everybody in the audience doesn't know what's going on, but you knew the whole time what the outcome was going to be. Awesome. Thank you, Thanks. Thanks.